Hello world and welcome to learning Java one byte at a time. This is the 10th video in a tutorial series geared at bringing the wonderful wide world of Java to those with little or no programming experience. Now this video we're going to piggyback off of the last video in which we created our dog class, which is the prototype for creating dog objects. And in this one, we're going to actually make a file called dog maker, and we're going to use it to create a couple of dog objects. Um, we'll assign them states, and then we'll use the behavior uh, display states so that we can see that those show up on the screen. So we'll go ahead and jump into the notepad plus plus app. And you can see here, I have a new file called dogmaker.java. Now this one, we need to make sure that we tell Java we're working within a package. We're going to be having classes call other classes. And so as such, we're going to let Java know that this is part of the previous package called dog breeder so that it knows it has access to all of the different class files. And then we'll declare our class as dogmaker, the same name as the Java file. And in this one, we're actually going to put our main method because this is the one that's going to actually be doing the work. So we'll declare a main method. And in the main method, we're going to go ahead and create our dog objects. And so we have already a dog class file that has the uh, potential states and behaviors of a dog object. And so in this one, it's going to be necessary to go ahead and uh, make those assignments. But because we used encapsulation, that's to say that because we actually used methods to assign those states, we're going to need to call those methods from our dog maker object. And again, that hides the code from the user and prevents them from fiddling with, uh, with the parts of the code that they have no business fiddling with. So we're going to do this as follows. We're going to go ahead and create two dog objects just for fun so that we can see the differences. And so we're going to do that by using the keyword dog, which comes from the fact that we created a dog class. We're going to assign it a name of our own choosing. We'll call one dog one. We're going to set it equal to, and then we're going to need the keyword new because we're constructing an object and new tells Java, hey, I need one made right now. And we're going to use the dog class file to do that going to make another dog called dog2 and again I need one built right now and now that we have those two we're going to go ahead and invoke the methods to assign the states of the dog so we named the, me the methods as remember assign breed assign color assign name and then assign age and assign weight and then we named the behavior uh, display states and so let's start by making all of the assignments for both of our dog objects We'll do that by referencing our dog one, and then we're going to use a dot, and then the name of the method, and then we're going to pass through what it's expecting. And in the case of assigned breed, it's expecting a literal string. So we're going to assign the breed, um, we'll say Dalmatian, the color likewise is expecting a string, so he's going to be spotted. We're going to name him or her princess. And if you remember, the age and the weight are expecting integers, so we're not going to use quotation marks. Princess is going to be three years old. And she's going to weigh 20 pounds. Now we'll do the same thing with our second dog object. It's a Dotson. And we'll make this guy black. And we'll name him Fido. And Fido's going to be five. No quotation marks because it's an integer. And he's a smaller dog, so he's going to weigh eight pounds. All right, so we have now um, invoked the methods 
of our created objects, dog one and dog two, we've used the dot um, the the dot function to tell it that from this object I've created, there should be a method called assign breed, and we're passing through the parameters that it's expecting, the strings and the variables. And so now that we've done that, let's go ahead and um, invoke the behavior method display states. Like so. Like so. And so if we've done this correctly, what we should expect is printed to the screen a list of the states of dog one followed by a list of the states of dog two. So let's see if we've done this correctly. We'll save this file as dog maker and then we'll open up our console. And what we're going to do is because these two class files are part of a package, we have to compile them a little bit differently than we have before. We're going to use a dash D parameter followed by a period. And we're going to look like this. So we're going to Java C, Java compile, first our dog object with a dash D parameter telling it it's going to be a package. Then we're going to use a dot and the dot tells Java, put it in a directory that's just named after the package. We're not going to create a different directory name. And then we'll go ahead and finish up with the dog.java, the Java file as we have before. And so it looks like that compiled correctly. And if we do a directory search, you'll see that it created a uh, directory called dog breeder named after our package. If we were to go into the dog breeder and do a search, you'll see that it has generated the dog class file as we expected. So let's back out and now let's do the same thing. We're going to Java C with the parameter D because it's a package, the uh, period to tell it just just put it in the directory named after the package and it's going to be our dog maker.java now and it looked like that compiled correctly so we'll jump into our dog breeder package directory and we'll search and you see we also have our dog maker.class and so excellent so everything looks like it's working so far let's go ahead and back out now and let's go ahead and try to run this program Ah, so because it's part of a package, when we run it with the Java command, we also have to list the package directory. So we're going to say Java dog breeder dot dog maker, like so. All right, so what we have here is the breed Dalmatian, the color spotted, the name princess, the age three, and the weight 20. So this is our first dog object that we created. And then next we have breed Dotson, color black name Fido, age five, and weight eight. And so it looks like we have successfully created two dog objects from our dog class file. And uh, this looks like it worked. And so hopefully that was pretty clear. Um, I know that we had a lot of content in these last two videos. And so if anything was not clear or if I rushed through anything, go ahead and uh, let me know down in the, in the comment section. And uh, yeah, and if you've made it this far through the tutorial series, I just want to thank you for sticking around. I mean, this has really been a lot of fun, and I really appreciate having everyone watch and be here for this. And hopefully this is something that ends up being very useful for everyone. Anyways, that does it for the uh, dog, uh, dog creating object, and we're going to go ahead and see you all in the next video. I hope everyone has a beautiful night, and thank you so much.